I see. Provoke him not. Way down. The sea. Teach him love. You're still born. And he said, Love. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else would help, only God Almighty and loved me. I me know he was. Obey his voice. Help me know. The only way is obedience better than sacrifice. unto thy adversary. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to read Psalms 139 together in Jesus' name. Psalms 139 in Jesus' name. Together. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Search me and know me. Where is my down sitting? Rising. Jesus. Praise the Lord 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 Jesus
Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to sing uh, number 244 from the uh, Pentecostal hymn, number 244. Jesus paid it all. I hear the Savior say. I hear the Savior say, thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid all. Watched it. suffered he bled and died and paid it all for our sins that we washed us white as snow and thank God for Calvary's that he went all the way 
and that he took the scourging for my sins. He took the nail prints for our sins. And that's why we owe it all to him. We owe our life to him. And that's why in the olden days that they had to bring an animal uh, to the priest and they had to, the whole, the blood of the animal had to be gushed out at the altar. So uh, our whole life is, ex is required to give God the best of our service. So all, everything in me has got to go. And our whole life needs to be on the altar of sacrifice. And we thank God that he paid the price that we could not pay. That if sin, you know, had, had, had his way with some of us, we'd have been dead a long time ago. But thank God that he, he, he snatched us as a branch from the burning just in time. God is a just in time God. That when things look hopeless, my God delivers again. And we thank God for today. We come to glorify the name of the Almighty God. We come to praise the name of the Almighty God. For all that he has done for us. For all that he is doing for us. For all that he is going to do for us. We want to give God the best of our service. I'm going to stand we're going to sing again uh, uh, the song 59. He took my sins away. I came to Jesus. Weary, worn and sad. He took my sins away. I came to Jesus, weary, worn, and sad. Yes. He took my sins away. He did, he did, he yes. He took my sins away. And now. And now his love has made my heart so glad. Yes. He took my sins away. He took my sins away.
Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. There's, there's a chorus that we sing now and then in this church that says, uh, when things go wrong and the way seems long, so we have to get on our knees and let the spirit move. So we're going to pray again because we want God to get some glory in this place today. We want God to be glorified. He said, when things go wrong and the way seems long, so we have to get on our knees, glory, and let the spirit move. So we're going to pray again. The Bible says, Elijah was a man subject to passions. And as he prayed earnestly, and there was no rain on the earth for three and a half years, we're going to talk to God. We're going to talk to God because we want God to be exalted in this house today. We are, we, you know, we are, the Bible says we are lively stones. And we have to act like our sins have been taken away. Not because I'm up here, but because it's a rightful thing to do. And we left our house to come to glorify God. So we want to give God the best of our service. The song said, forget about our problems. Said, forget about your sickness. Forget about who you are. We're going to concentrate on God and worship God for who he is today. So the bills might be piling up. The council tax might be after you. But it says, forget about yourself. Forget about all early, early possession. Forget about your pay rise. Look to the Almighty God. We're going to pray right now that God gets some glory in this place. In Jesus' name, God. We are looking to you by faith, O oh God. The garment of praise, O oh God. The garment of praise in this place, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray God you walk in this church. God the Almighty God, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I come against the powers of hell, every powers of darkness, every unclean spirit that walk in this church. I rebuke it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray your court and clear, rebuke and discharge in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are the Almighty God. You've never lost a battle. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I pray God you dash. I pray God you court and clear. I pray you move every heaviness in this place, oh God. Move every sickness. Move every depression. I rebuke it by the blood of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every discouragement. I rebuke every fear and dread by the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost and power, take control. Let your name be exalted, O oh God, for you're worthy to be praised, O oh God. Hear us, O oh God, from your holy hill. Father God, touch. My God, we're looking to my faith, O oh God. Hear us, O oh God, because you are God alone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're going to sing the chorus. In Jesus' name. Let the spirit move.
Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's all of us responsibility. Said brothers and sisters. But not just brothers, not just sisters, but everybody. It's all our responsibility. In Jesus' name. We're gonna have a word from Evangelist Cameron in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, it's all of us. We're, we're in this together. We're the same side. We're on the same side. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Greetings to my beloved mother and pastor, my brethren evangelist ministers, and visiting friends in Jesus' name. The song was saying, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply, 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 deeply stay within. Sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from the water lifted me, thou safe am I. Then he said, love. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, no. only God Almighty love could lift me out of sin. I give God thanks for such a love that lifted me out of sin. I give God thanks for his grace and his mercy and compassion upon my life. You know, brethren, I wasn't saved then. I wasn't saved then. And I had this friend, it was my, one of my good friends. And brethren, <laughs> God is real. What happened was, this man, he liked her. And the other one liked me. But there was a, a Nigerian man. So it was, you know them sugar daddy? He was in sin. Listen to me, I was in sin. And then this, this other one, the one who liked me, he was a prince. The other one, he was our chauff his chauffeur. But we know what they're up to. Anyway, it so happened that each time he come, and he was saying to her, like she named Paula, Paula, me love you, 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 me love you. And she started to get really fed up. Let him start to come. And I put him in his love in her head. He love, he love, he love. And she said, I can't take this too much of this love, 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 you know. Because she knows said that it's not real. It's something him after. And she really did get out her hand. She really did get out her hand because she knows that it's something he's up to. I am saying this to say that. No one else can love you like Jesus Christ. He paid it all. All to him we owe. And sin had left the crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Men can love you for a certain amount of time. Unconditionally. But when so you and them have something or something unto you. The change. But God, even when you sin and go against him, he still loves you. He's a God of love. He's a God of mercy. He's a love of compassion. He's a love of care. He's a love of God for forgiveness. And that is love. Everlasting, true love. I didn't have another friend again. And we used to go to school. And he said, Lorraine, when me see this woman and me want her, I love her. He said, me cry tears to live in high water again. He cry tears, said, me love you. But that's not true. That is all for a reason. Because him know where him up down where him want. But God love is everlasting and to everlasting continually. What I'm saying to you, my brethren, you can't find no love anywhere else here. Like God Almighty love. Because God love is real. God love is true. 
He took God Almighty to give his life for us. To help us that we be true to God and stay with God. Because there's no other love like God love. Be encouraged. I employ you, my brethren, who just baptized. Stay in God. No matter what you're going through, the road will get rough, you're going to get tough. But by his grace assisting you, he will bring you out. He will bring you out. Stay under the blood and be encouraged and stay with the Lord in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to have a, a song from uh, Evangelist Dixon in Jesus' name. Name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give God thanks for his goodness and his mercy towards me, for bringing back me and Sister Simone from holiday. God has been so good. Thank God. And really needed this rest. And God really help and take us safely, bring us back safely. I am giving, I, I, we met so much nice people. So much nice people. And it's, you know, it's really good to talk to people you don't know. You meet them for the first time. You never know. One day they might come through that door. Praise God. And they will see you. And they will say, my God, is that lady. She's a Christian. And the way how she treated me. And the way how she looked at me. So we must always be nice to people. And talk to them very well. Praise God. I'm just going to sing this song. I sing because I'm happy. In Jesus' name. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart feel lonely? And long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion. Watches me. 
encourage somebody today. I just want to encourage you. You're singing here in service today because you're happy, you're free. His eyes are on the sparrow. And you know, if his eyes are on the sparrow, he's watching over you. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. Anything that you're going through, anything that you're passing through, God can take you through safely. He can deliver you. Praise God. Praise God. He can deliver. I sing because I'm happy. I sing. in the assurance and the confidence that our God watches over us. 
the Bible said, God, Christ said, uh, aren't two sparrows sold for a farthing? And we are more than the sparrows. So we are confident that God watches over us. That the Lord watches over us every day and every night. And we sing with confidence that, yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. And we have protection from the Lord above. So Jesus walks beside me every passing day. So every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, he walks with me every passing day. And I know he guides me all the way, every day. So we are, we are covered, we are protected. We have a 24-hour protection that watches over us night and day. That when the enemy come on us like a flood, the Bible said, the Spirit of the Lord lifted up a stunning against him. Because why? With the God Almighty watches over us. And we have this confidence and this assurance. And at this moment, we just want to ask those who are worshiping with us for the very first time, could you please stand so we can acknowledge you and give God thanks for you for the very first time you come to this house. Bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. A very hearty, a very hearty, hearty welcome to you. And may God bless you abundantly. And I pray that God will make you a blessing in this house today. And also a special... Uh, just want to acknowledge also, I think it's uh, Sister Monique and her husband. Um, they're visiting from Jamaica. In Jesus, God bless you and may God shine his face upon you today. In Jesus' name. And uh, I just want to ask if there's anyone here, if you need a special prayer, you can come forward. If you need a special prayer for anything, we want God to be glorified in this place. If, you, if you're sick, he's the healer. If you need, if you need mountain move, God will move mountains. The, the song says, when the tempter's power is broken when Jesus comes. So when Jesus comes to say, so we ask if, they need, if you need healing, God is in this place. Whatever your hearts cry, God is in this place. If you, whatever it is, we want God to move some mountains today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is so sweet yes, if you feel to heavy, trust If you feel heavy, the garment of praise. Yes. Just to take oh, yes. him at his word. Yes, yes, glory, yes. to rest upon, upon his promise. Just to know the same, the Lord. Jesus, yes, yes. Strong deliverer. How I trust him. How I trust him. Oh, 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 Yes! 
us in Jesus name sister Maureen oh for grace to trust him more says Jesus Jesus precious Jesus we need more grace in Jesus name in this fight we need more grace praise the Lord everyone we praise the Lord again we praise the name of Jesus. Truly God is good to us all. And we have all right to give him thanks. Psalms 136 and I think 23 said, The Lord that remember me in my low estate. For his mercy endure it forever. It's because of his mercy why we are all here today. I'm sure when we went to bed last night, we didn't know when we fall asleep. But we know when we wake this morning, 
it is all because of the goodness of Jesus. At some times in life, we all will feel low in the spirit. And we just need Jesus. We just need Jesus. And I pray that this song I'm going to sing, I'm having a problem with my voice. But I'm going to sing in the name of Jesus. At some point, we feel low in the spirit. And it's only God can lift me up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise the Lord. We don't serve a dead God. We know that he's risen. And he's gone back to glory. And he's coming again for us. God bless you in Jesus name as you listen to this song. When I'm low in the spirit I cry Lord lift me up for I want to go higher with thee for the Lord knows I can't stay on the mountain so he picked out hallelujah a valley for me Say when I'm low, many times we feel low in the spirit. But myself, I say, I cry, Lord, lift me up, for I want to go higher with Thee. For the Lord knows that I can't stay on the mountain, so He picked out. I said he picked out a valley for me. of my life and I 
says, I wonder what I have done that makes this race so hard to run. But he said, I said to my soul, take courage for the Lord will make our way somehow. This too will pass. The darkness cannot last all the time. There's got to be a change. There's got to be some sunshine. There's got to be some showers. The sun said, there's sunshine in my soul today. More glorious and bright. It's got to change. If you're sick, it must change. If you're in depression, it must change. Because our God is too big to fail. Said, I wonder what I have done. But in the valley, he restored my soul. And that's why the Bible said, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. That when all around our soul gives way, he then is our hope and our stay. And we can rest on the assurance that on Christ. The solid rock we stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. The Bible said that there were two lepers. And the Bible said that uh, they had no food. And the Bible said they said if we go in the city, we may die. And if we stay here, we may die. But they didn't just so sit there and die. So they said, I'm saying why sit here and die? You have to do something. If it's not going your way, do some praying. If it's not going working all right, do some fasting. If you want to change, just talk to the Almighty God. It's got to change. Why sit here and die? It's got to be a change. Because our God is too big to fail. We're going to collect the day's offering. We're going to sing a lively chorus. It's all right, all right. It's all right, yes. all right. As long as I have.
Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. God's going to make a way somehow. The Lord will make a way somehow. It's got to change. I remember a few years ago, I was going through a patch. I was going through a patch a few years ago. And I was thinking about something and um, I wanted this thing to change, but it wasn't changing quick enough for me. And I was on the bus coming to church one, one evening. And I was on Liverpool Street coming and uh, I was on 242 bus. And the song just come to me. Say, it is all right, all right. As long as I have my Lord beside me, it's all right. So as long as I have his hands to hold, as long as God watches over my soul, then that which I'm worried about, it's going to change. So I'm saying this too will pass. So whatever your sickness is, it's got to change. God breaks every chain. The song says, he breaks every fetter and set us free. So whatever your heart cries today, God will change it. Whatever your worries is, God will change it. So I'm saying it is all right. All right. So we're going to stand right now. We're going to, all of us are going to stand right now. We're going to pray again. We want God to take control in service. We're going to pray that God strengthen Pastor Douglas. That God cover her, God shield and protect and guide her footsteps. So we're all going to pray. You know the Bible says that? The Bible says that David, David had to encourage himself in the Lord. So somehow when there's nobody around, right? Pastor Douglas, we have to encourage ourselves in the Almighty God. So I'm saying that we, we're going to pray strength for God's servant. Because the Bible says that all who were discontented, in distress, and in debt, they came to David. And David knew how to make them a warrior. So I'm saying that a lot of time, in, you see in this church, we have a lot of people come to this church who are distressed, discontented, and in debt. And now it's possible because job not to turn them into a warrior. So we're going to pray strength for God's servant. We're going to pray God anoint her fresh. That no demons come against her. We're going to pray that God anoint her, fill up with the Holy Ghost. That, that way nobody, you know, encourage her. That she will take courage in the word of God. To know that the Lord watches over her every day and every night. So we're going to pray strength for God's servant. Right, all of us, in Jesus' name. Father. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. No.
Greetings to the whole soul of faith. And welcome everyone in here today. Satan lose again. He never would have church when we have church. Praise God. And welcome if Olive is here. Are you here today, Olive? Praise God. And all who visit for the first time, welcome. Now I'm going to do something strange. I'm going to ask Brother Copeland to come and give a testimony. And um, come. come, Brother Copeland. In Jesus' name. Go and give a testimony of what the Lord lead you. And I'm going to ask Brother What's his name again? Brother Adrian. To give the closing message. Have a little talk with Jesus. Now in your mind. To Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's think about yourself. If judgment come now. You see we know sure to live this till evening. So while we mind working up. I was saying today, I said, God, we pray yesterday to cut down them people and stop that nonsense. But we want to have church. Yes, and God let them run. Yes, so I said then, I said, God, if you allow them, none of my business. Yes, we have no business with nothing in here but ourselves. Yes, we are in here to give God thanks for ourselves. Yes, Amen. We know have a plan that we're going to testify or we're going to preach. When we have a plan, God not in it. God not in it because we plan it before we come and we plan who to lead. God not leading because we plan who to lead. <laughs> we plan who to speak. We plan help. We plan the song we want to sing. We plan who must sing that. But God, why? While we are planning, God do something to upset us. Because God going to let us know that God is a boss. Praise him. What we plan, God change. When we stop plan, God will come in and fill his house. When we stop thinking wrong, God will take over. Holy Ghost will fill this house. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. I was saying that God, how can you promise Holy Ghost? How can you promise me something? I never know you what's going to give me. You promise to give me. So how are we going to give it to me? Give it to me. Give it to me. God say he's going to give a gift. It's a gift. The Holy Ghost is a gift. When I went to church, I didn't went to be saved. But when I make up, when God, not me. When God make up my mind inside of my heart, God save me and fill me to seal me to show me save. Yeah, yeah. I never go to stretch Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I was saying, how can God promise to fill you with the Holy Ghost? And somebody wants you at the altar to tell you, give it to me. No, no, give. You know when God gonna give you? I was thinking that. You must stop and think, otherwise you won't pass your driving test. You're going to drive like an idiot. You got to stop thinking. Think, if God promised you something, somebody promised me something, I don't know till they say, here you are. Then I will say, thank you very much. God promise is sure. God promise is true. So if God promise you, to do something for you, nobody stop him. If God call you, nobody take you out of his hand. 
If God Almighty set you free, nobody at them bound now. Because God set you free and them bound up. If Jesus Christ give life to the murder man. God give life to the prostitute. God give life to the drug addict. God give life to every wicked people. God never die for Christian. God die for wicked people. Yeah. Out of the depths of hell, yeah. some of us cry. Yeah. The bird of God said, while I was a sinner, Christ died. He died for the whole world. May God bless somebody in your place. Give your testing. Praise the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us praise the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give God thanks. Greet each and name every of one. Jesus. Especially my mother. And pastor, name of Jesus. Everyone in Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, God. Earlier we read the scripture. Deliver. Psalm 139. In the name of Jesus. As we work down in the psalm. We'll be the next to follow Jesus. We got to a part that says. Thank you. Where can I go? Or to the Lord. To escape thy yeah. presence. Yeah. I went, the took the wings of the morning and flew off yeah. to the uttermost parts. You're still there. Teach him. I went way down to see. Teach him, Lord. You're still there. I thank God Almighty that all through my life, he's been there. I know he's been in your life, but I can say of a truth that I know Praise. he's been with me. Yes. Up until last week, even last week, as the brothers gave their testimony, Brother Adrian and Brother Carl and the different ones, my testimony not like theirs. That's why it come from you. I thank God that I was born in a religious household. From the very rocking of my cradle, I was taught about who Jesus Christ is. I think at the age of 15, I don't think I had missed church five times in my life. Those five times came because when I was born, I was born an asthmatic. So anytime that the asthma would flare up so bad, that would be the reason I would have missed church. But God has been very good to me. Right there. That spot. My grandmother was a nurse. She worked the night shift and I think one time she came home and Transferred a staff. And as a baby under one years old, Lance, and take that staff. So when I roll back my mental curtain, I see God's hand all in my life. Went to school as everybody else did. And any of you have ever seen this American show, I forgot what it's called, but you know the character Urkel. Yes. Steve Urkel? Yes. You're looking at Steve Urkel. I didn't grow up in no popular crowd. I wore glasses from, would you say reception or first grade, grade one, all the way till high school. Was not a popular person because I was grown in the way. There comes a time of decision for each and every one of us. Yes. And I do know that it was a time that although I was in church, my heart was not so much in church in the building, but it wasn't given fully to the master. Praise. See, some of us grow in a way that we're taught that as long as you come to church, spend your little 45 minutes or an hour, say your whatever, you're good. 
I hear pastor talk about many times when they went down to the Baptist church and they do the Baptist thing and they went home and they still smoked their cigarette and had their sweetheart and did all those things. I can say as a truth that in some ways I saw that growing up. But there came a time in my life where the conscious and just Cameron always talk about a live conscience. Yeah. <laughs> For in each man and in each woman, every child, God places something that you know the difference between right and wrong. Yeah. While things are going easy. Sometimes we don't pay attention to those things, but when things get rough, then comes a decision of whether I'm going to stay on the Lord's side or I'm going to try it my way. Somebody, Jesus. I'm saying this to say my life was good. Thank God I grew up in a family that I was blessed. Oh, God. God. I always had clothes to wear. Always had shoes on my feet. Never ever can I say that I know God is a good. hungry moment. God is good. Touch you. We would travel. We would see. I was well educated. Name a day. When the burdens of this life pressed and pushed and pressed and pushed, the first big trial came when my grandmother left this transitory state we call this earth. Because I didn't know nothing, no problem. Because we had, I had a family. And as I just told you, my grandmother was the rock that kept us together. We went to church on Sunday. We ate dinner at her home. And if anything came on, Granny would be there and she'd say, no, 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 it's all go this way. If two arguments came between two cousins, or whatever, they squashed. And you know what I'm talking about because many of you have grown the same way. Yeah. We're not like that now. I don't know why. And it seems a lot of times when the older people, the glue, when they pass off, we forget and leave them ways behind. But trials did come. Started to mix with people that I had no business mixing with because even as I told you up until almost 20, a deck of cards, I knew like you played a little games or bingo and things. But I didn't know one card from another, whether it was a spade or a heart or whatever it was. But I got mixed up with a crowd that they used to gamble. I'd go gamble with them. But Sunday morning, right like a morning star. Some of the same one that I was playing cards with was in church with me too. It was over. Sometime we would go back. I'm not boasting, but I'm saying for somebody. There's a way which seemed right unto me. But it's not right. I give God thanks. I don't know where. Exactly. I can't tell you. Some people can tell you where I stumbled upon ministry on YouTube. All the way in Greenwood, South Carolina. And as I started to watch the service and listen, my heart was pricked. Because I knew 
what man would say, you're all right, but I knew better. With God, I was not all right. In Jesus' name. I'm saying to you, yes. send a man, send a woman, even one who had been baptized and you are fighting the storms of life. Hold fast. We sang a little earlier. About trust in Jesus. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. I'm so glad I learned to trust him. When I think of those words, when you bank on Jesus Christ alone, Amen. you put all your faith, all of your hopes and dreams in his hand. Trust him more and more. Give your life totally to God. The things that you think that you cannot get over, he will help you to get over. Pray. Seek his face Jesus name. and harden not your heart today. Yes. In Jesus' name. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, Look into tell that. me where would I be? the Lord Church. Hallelujah. I must give Bless honor him. to the Spirit of God. Teach him. Greet our pastor. Teach him now. Brethren, visiting friends, greetings in Praise Jesus' God. name. If it's not been for the Lord on, on my our side. side. my God. None of us. No, may Israel What a merciful God. Thank None God. Of us. Yes. No Jesus good that I have Christ. done. Thank you, Jesus. It's because of his mercy. Yes. The scripture says it is he that has made us God, is that and push? not we ourselves. Thank you. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Thank you. I was looking at the news the other day. Thank you. And there was this spectacular Thank event you. about the sun. It wasn't the eclipse. Thank you. We're saying that the sun ray and the elements. Thank you. 
such a beautiful spectacle. And they were looking into it, and I said, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament show it is on the world. Even the sun, the stars, is saying that they didn't put themselves up there. Even them saying it's God has made us because I said it's Andy work. And Andy work is something that you do by yourself. And I said, God, no care what science is saying, you create this. The spectacular, all praises and glory go to you. I've given this, I've given this thought, give God this thanks. You know? I was reading, I want to hear brother talk a while ago. His exaltation, it was just in line. Because when the children of Israel were taken out of Egypt, along their journey, they get the law, and they get precepts and audiences. But while they were given the audiences, God also gave them a special caution. Because so Exodus 23, they were given precepts and how to behave, code of conduct, their spiritual behavior, Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hands the too. wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in the cars to climb after many to rest judgment. So he was giving them some social conduct, behavior, how they must exist and set up their society and so forth. But what really get me, when he read to verse 13, he give them a special caution. Just like how you send them, you want your child, uh -huh. and you send him the out, and you say, remember what I said to you. Yes. Listen to what he said. In all things that I've said unto you, be circumspect. And make no mention of the name of Father God, neither let it be heard out of your mouth. Be circumspect, mean be careful what I'm saying to you. Look before you walk. Think before you talk. Is not everything going to go? As child of God, we have to be careful how we proceed along the line. Everything won't go. And I tell you, it is very easy to go on the left. To go on the right. To be saved is not easy. It's not easy. We start on the journey, but to finish it is not easy. It is much easy to backslide get distracted and divert to the left and to the right. Mm -hmm. So he was be circumspect. Don't do any and anything. Any and anything, don't go. All things that I have said unto you, it's hard to obey all, but we have to try to obey as much as possible. And he continued to teach them along the way. I'm going to be quick because time is spent. But he said, when he got up that in verse 20, you know, he said, get on the glory road. Heaven is now in you. He said, behold, I send an angel before thee to keep you in the way and to bring thee in the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for I will not pardon your transition, Help for me, my Jesus. name is in him. Beware of him, obey him voice in all things. Provoke him not in anything at all. It's not easy to remain a child of God. But we have to. And I can tell you this for true. Even my, my, myself, reaching a situation where I provoke God. And the consequences, I wouldn't wish it on no one. I wouldn't wish it on no one. I have to tell her that obey his voice. Help me know. Because the only way is obedient, better than sacrifice. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemy. And an adversary unto thy adversary. You see the benefit of obedience. Yes. Oh, you go spiritually. Oh, God protect you. He will be the enemy unto your enemy. That means when the enemy is fighting you, it's not you they're fighting. No. No. It's God they're fighting. No. And if 
they are fighting God, they can't win. They can't win. Discipline of obedience. He said, you will be an adversary unto your adversary. Your opponent that you come up against, God will be their opponent. They can't win. God is able. He sent his angel. It's a guardian angel. So you are protected. You are guarded along the line. Whatever you need, whatever you want, God will prepare that for you. Your angel is before you to guide you along the way. For my angel shall go before thee and bring thee unto the Amorites, the Ephites, the Parasites, and the Canaanites, and, the, and all the Jubatites, and I will cut them off. You see, life, those were the, those were the people that set up the society in Canaan. They, they're going to Canaan, but they are already have inhabitants there. Those people set up their society. He said, don't be a part of their society. For us today, there is a dynamic society that is among us. Represented by the Amorites, the Evites. He said, don't be a part of them. You maybe have to be included in them. You can tell you, it's in the education sector, it's in the nursing sector, it's in the police sector, it's in every sector that set up society. In school. He said, you don't have to be a part of them. You can't be in them. He said, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Oh, while we are in the world, we have to do what we mean. That is right. Oh, so you tell them you're going there, but don't be a part of them. Amen. Don't even mention the girl. You have to set yourself aside. Oh, my angel can't, shall go before thee and bring thee into the Amorite. The next verse. Thou shalt not bow down to their God, nor serve them, nor do after their words, but shall utterly. Over, you don't have to show them no respect. There's not going to be no disrespect to them, but you don't have to be compliant to them. Not because they say do this, they mean you have to do that. Praise God. Thou shalt not bow down to their God and serve them that know after their work, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their image. And he shall serve the Lord thy God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sick. You shall bless Thank. your bread and your water. Amen. Now, when you have small things, if God bless it, you more nutritious and more refreshing than a big feast without God blessing. Amen. You say, you shall bless your bread and your water. You don't have to have a big steak every day. No. If you can't afford it. You have a little food, you have to put it up to God. And, and, and bless it. It's yes. more refreshing to you and nourishing Amen. than a big feast without God blessing. Amen. So you shall take sickness away from you. Yes. Not that you're going to feel headache, not yes. belly, not back yes. But that shall no, not stop you from you. praise God. Amen. Because the spirit can't sick. No. 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 You will feel pain because the flesh will make you feel pain. When you pray to God, it's not going to stop you from push forward. God, God have to get his glory. Amen. They shall nothing cast down their young and be barren. And in the land, the number of thy days shall fulfill. No untimely death. Amen. Come against all untimely death and work of the enemy. Your age shall fulfill. Amen. Can lift your days. Because God said it. And I pray if we trust God. And trust God with these words. Right. And know that he's able. Yes. Be on the glory road. Heaven Amen. is knowing view. Although the road is rough. Yes. Jesus will carry you through. Yes. Put an angel before you. Name and I tell you, if we trust God yes. and know who God is. There is a thing with Christians. Yes. You know what I said? Yeah? We believe God. Yes. We believe in God. Yes. We come to church because we believe Touch in God. Somebody. But it's a different stage. When you believe God, that is believe true. in God and believe God are two different things. Yes. We can't believe God in this and don't believe in God. Amen. We have to believe God always. Say, Obey His yes. voice yes. and provoke Him not. Yes. And I pray if we live yes. up to this principle, God will see us true in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. We're going to see He's able. I know my God is able. And anybody want prayer, come. He's able, he's, he's able. able, I know he's able, Anybody I know prayer? my God is able to carry me through. Yes, he is. I know he's able, 
He's able. Come on. I know he's oh. able. Come. I know my God is able to carry me through. Come. Shakira here today, Shakira, sister Jennifer, daughter, and her son-in-law, and the baby. Welcome. And if they would like prayer, they can come. If you want us to pray with you, you can come up now, and we can pray with them, not for. God touch them today. Could we stand? Stretch your hand and we pray that God cover them. Thank God for them today. Thank God all the way from Talk and Trent. That's where my families are, my, my relations. My auntie children up there and my uncle. Stoke and Trade. 
Could you close your eyes and your mind and God's? While they come up here, the power of God can reach them hearts. Amen. Let's pray. We don't know who God going to answer in here. All of us belong to him. Could be the parents. Father, we're going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray you down there. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch this child. Touch the parents. Let this child be different from all the other children them. Good example. Of destruction on this baby. Of the parents. But not the heart in one. No enemies come in their life. Touch them, Lord. And I thank you for bring them here today. Jesus. Bless them. Amen. Um, we have been served. You're going to. God bless you. Praise Keep Jesus. in the spirit. Jesus. Praise Lord Jesus. Praise Lord Jesus. Praise Just to remind you of our schedule for the week that we have service here on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday we have our prayer meeting here at 7.30 p.m. Thursday we have our Bible class at 7.30 p.m. We're back on Sunday for our Sunday school at 11 o'clock. Our day worship is at midday and our evening worship is at 6 p.m. Also, just to remind you that our holy convocation is from the 27th of July to the 4th of August. So please take your time off and invite your friends and family to come and glorify God with us. God bless you. God take you safely. In Jesus' name. Welcome to Evangelist Dixon and Sister Smoon. Welcome back on holiday. God bless you. Bless them, bless them. Bless you. Come back later. Bless. In Jesus' name. And also, just to remind you that we have a coffee morning here every Wednesday and also lunch on every third Saturday. God bless you all. God take you safely. In Jesus' name. Amen.